week 11 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few forwards I would drop this week. The first guy is Ru Hakamura, the Washington Wizards. Hakamura, I thought he was trending upwards in the last couple weeks here. But now, the last few games, it's been a struggle for him. And owners in other leagues, they're starting to drop him as well. His percentages drop 4% this week in Onage on the season. He's ranked 206 with 12.8 points a game, 5.7 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 78% from the foul line, and 46% from the field. But the last couple weeks now, it's been a struggle here for Hachimura. 10 points a game, 6.4 rebounds, 1.4 assists, 60% from the foul line. And the only thing that keep is keeping him going is the 50% from the field. But the last two out of three games, he just put up games that have no impact. And it's not doing much right now for fantasy owners. And if there's better options out there this week, I definitely would look to do that. Because this week, there's a decent amount of forwards on the waiver wire that I think could give you more production than Ru Hakamura. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out for week 11. But anyway, Hakamura in the last three games, February 25th. 20 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists at Denver. February 27th versus the Minnesota Timberwolves, 6 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. And then last night at the Boston Celtics, 2 points, 6 rebounds, and assist and a steal. So he's inconsistent. The numbers aren't there for Hakamura. And he's never going to be a big scorer in this offense where you got Russell Westbrook, obviously, and Bradley Beal, who averages 30 points a game. So Hakamura, he'll get a few rebounds, he'll get some assists. But I don't think his value will be much here the rest of the season after I thought he was trending upward. But now he's going backwards and droppable in the last couple games. And the next forward to drop is Cam Reddish of the Atlanta Hawks. So Reddish this season, he's taking a step back after he had a pretty good rookie season last year with this ball club on the season. He's ranked 185th with 11.2 points a game. Four rebounds, 1.3 assists, 1.3 steals, 1.3 threes a game, 81% from the foul line, and 36% from the field. So his percentages from the field are pretty horrible for Reddish. And now he's been banged up the last couple weeks here with an Achilles injury. And he's a guy that's definitely droppable over here. The Atlanta Hawks, they're going to have Bogdanovic back. They got their other guys in Trey Young, John Collins. And Clint Capella, and right now Reddish, he might be the odd man out even when he comes off this injury. And he wasn't putting up crazy great games. He showed flashes this season, but he was also inconsistent as well as Cam Reddish. And Reddish, he's been dropped in a few percent of fantasy leagues. And I would drop him also. Achilles injury, obviously it's serious. He's missed the last six games now with the injury. And who knows when he's coming back. I believe he'll probably be back after the All-Star break. But right now for this week, he's definitely a player that's droppable. And if he comes back next week and plays well, then you could add him. But right now, he's a player I would drop. And I don't think he's worth the stash on an IL spot. And the third and final forward, I'd look to drop this week's Marcus Morris of the Los Angeles Clippers. So Morris, he was a good pickup for a couple weeks in weeks 9 and 10. But now... Obviously, with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George back in the thick of things here in this Clipper offense, Marcus Morris, he's going to be inconsistent. I know he's the sixth or seventh man off the bench here for this pretty loaded Clipper team, but right now the production just isn't there like it was when he had an expanded role with more shot attempts and more minutes for Marcus Morris on the season. He's ranked 159th with 12.4 points a game, 3.8 rebounds. 0.9 assists, 0.6 steals, 2.3 threes a game, 90% from the foul line, and a mediocre to poor 43% from the field. But now in the last week or two here, since Leonard and George have come back, the numbers have really dropped 8.8 .8 points a game, 3.3 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 1.5 threes a game, and an awful 33% from the field to Marcus Morris. He's just not getting things going. He's falling down the rankings. And more managers, they're dropping him as well. He's been dropped in 4% of fantasy leagues here over the last week, week and a half. So right now, he's not producing. And it's obvious that he wasn't going to produce this long with Kawhi Leonard and George back in the mix. And the last three games for Morris are nothing to look at, really. February 25th in Memphis, 9 points. Two rebounds, an assist, a steal, and a three. February 26th in Memphis again, four points, three rebounds, a steal. And then last night in Milwaukee, he had a pretty decent game, 11 points, five rebounds, 
and three threes, but that's the best performance Morris has had now in his last six games, and that's not a huge fantasy performance, obviously. And he got a few rebounds and threes, so that's a few forwards I would look to drop here in week 11 of the fantasy basketball season.